Welcome to our session on study abroad in Japan. My name is Kayo Takahashi. My pronouns are she, her, hers. And I'm the office manager for the UCAP Tokyo Study Center. We have a lot of information packed in, into this 15 minute presentation. So we'll move quickly. Please feel free to take screenshots of any of the slides. The presentation will also be available on the UCAP website afterwards. You are of course welcome to contact us directly for more details about study abroad in Japan as well. Let's start by highlighting the benefits of studying abroad through UCAP. UCAP is the official study abroad provider for the entire UC system. Our programs are designed specifically for UC students. With programs in over 40 countries, UCAP has the perfect study abroad program to suit your needs. While on UCAP, you remain enrolled in your UC campus, which means you do not need to take a leave of absence during your study abroad program, and your UC financial aid goes with you. As a UCAP student, you are guaranteed that all the courses you take abroad will receive UC credit. UCAP offers 12 programs at nine partner universities in Japan, and each year, nearly 400 UC students go to Japan for a period from summer only to a full academic year. Whether you are a STEM student or a major in Japanese or a major in econ, we have a program that perfectly matches your academic and personal interest. Program length is also varied. UCAP offers summer programs and quarter length or semester length programs. Or you can study in Japan for a whole academic year. Let's quickly look at each UCAP Japan program one by one. ICU is the second oldest partner university for UCAP, next to University of Bordeaux in France. ICU is known for bilingual education and bilingual environment on campus. About one third of faculty members are from foreign countries and English speaking staff is available at the student support offices, the health clinic and the counseling center. Tokyo Study Center is also located at ICU, giving daily life support for UCAP students. So your study abroad experience at ICU will go very smoothly from the day one. On academic side, ICU is quarter system and the curriculum is similar to that of UC, whereas most of Japanese partner universities are semester system and the class usually meets only once a week. Program is offered in spring and fall for quarter length, or you can study at ICU for a whole academic year. In summer, ICU offers an intensive Japanese language program that is good for students who have taken some Japanese language classes at UC. This six week program will take your Japanese skills to the next level for sure. UCAP offers several programs that focus on Japanese language study. If you are interested in living in a fascinating ancient Japanese capital city, Kyoto, to study Japanese, Doshisha University is the perfect match. Doshisha University offers an intensive Japanese program from beginning to native level. You will also have a variety of chances to explore this amazing old city with local students through activities planned and organized by the university. The program starts around late March when cherry trees are almost blossom 
and the program ends in early August. So timing is perfect for, perfect for you to return to your campus for fall term, regardless of which campus you are from. One of the highlights of Meiji Gakuin University is a faculty-led field trip to Hiroshima, which gives students a chance to study Japanese history and the peace movement in modern Japan at first hand. Students studying at Meiji Gaku University take courses offered in English, and Japanese language study is also available at Meiji Gaku University. Both Waseda and Keio programs are year long, and their campuses are located in the heart of Tokyo. Both programs offer courses taught in English in a broad range of disciplines, and students can also take Japanese language classes. Course offerings of Waseda and Keio University are quite similar, but I would say that Keio is strong in econ and Waseda is strong in political science and international studies. As both universities are located in downtown Tokyo area, students studying there will make the most of what the mega city like Tokyo offers. Hitotsubashi University is the oldest university in Japan to specialize exclusively in the humanities and social sciences. Total number of undergraduate students there is 4,500. So Hitotsubashi is known for small size classes that put students in close contact with faculty and active conversations in class. The campus is located in a suburban cosmopolitan city called Kunitachi, where you can find good cafes, foreign restaurants, and a supermarket selling imported food items. Hitotsubashi campus itself has an Ivy League-like atmosphere with beautiful old brick buildings. UCAP offers a spring semester program at Hitotsubashi. Tohoku University is ranked number one in the latest Times Higher Education's annual ranking of Japanese University. The university is located in the beautiful city Sendai, which is also called the City of Trees. Tohoku University's campuses are beautiful with lots of green and very spacious. And the most of exchange students live in the on-campus dormitory. The program is offered for students students who are engineering and science major, and the program focus is a combination of coursework and research in laboratory. Students participating in this program spends 15 hours on individual research program per week, and elective courses are available from a wide range of STEM and Japanese language and culture classes. If you have advanced level Japanese proficiency, you also have access to lower and upper division of courses taught in Japanese on almost any kind of academic fields. At Osaka University, two different types of programs are offered. One is the intensive summer Japanese language program this is designed for beginners to master elementary level grammars and conversation skills in eight weeks. Students take two to three classes every day and contents covered during this program is equivalent to what is covered at UC for an entire academic year. Um, outside class, students have many chances to meet and make local friends that will definitely become the highlight of your study abroad experience. STEM research program is available in summer, fall, and spring semester. 
This is a 100% research program. Students are expected to spend 28 to 30 hours in laboratory per week and will earn 12 units from summer program and 21 units from semester length program. Exploring in and outside Osaka city is also part of your study abroad experience. Osaka is the second largest city in the country. Also, Osaka is known as the nation's kitchen and it is well known for delicious food such as takoyaki and okonomiyaki. Students enjoy eating out at local restaurants or making takoyaki by themselves with local students. Osaka is also close to the world famous city Kyoto, so popular sightseeing spots in Kyoto will be the destination of your weekend trips. Summer STEM is also available at the University of Tokyo. The university is established in 1877, and it is oldest university in Japan. UCAP offers a six week program at this oldest and elite university. In this program, students conduct a research on their own or work on a team project with peer students. You will be amazed at how closely undergraduate students work with their professors and graduate students in laboratory. This is a sort of common lab culture seen in Japanese universities, and this lab experience will give you great value to your study abroad and to your whole university life. Well, it is not enough to read books and listen to other people's stories to learn Japanese culture. The best way is to go to Japan and attend events with Japanese people and to share the experience. While studying in Japan, you discover a fascinating and dynamic Japanese culture. And the greatest thing is you will be part of it. This will not happen if you stay in the US. So go to Japan and enjoy Japanese rich and colorful culture. And let us help you have this great opportunity. We hope this presentation has provided you with a starting point on your study abroad journey and encourage you to explore the UCAP website for detailed information about program options, finances, health and safety, and more. You should also visit your UC campus study abroad office website for information on application steps and deadlines. Each UC campus has their own application process and deadlines, so please be sure to get in touch with the Campus Study Abroad Office for more information. Once you have determined which program you are going to apply to, you can start an application by selecting the Apply Now button on the UCAP website. A valid passport is required for all study abroad programs. However, processing times for passports are delayed due to COVID. So if you need a passport or if you need to renew your passport, you should start the process immediately. Lastly, appointments for one-on-one -on -one advising session with UCAP advisors will be available during the week of November 2nd to 6th. The link for booking is on the on this slide and I have entered it into the chat as well. Well, thank you for attending this session. We will now move on to the Q&A. So please send us your questions in the chat box.